So when we hear spraying, it makes my blood pressure go up, like it actually causes me stress. We put a lot of ourselves into the farm, uh, and I don't think that that's untrue for other farmers who do other things. If we had an overspray incident with an airplane especially, and they were careless enough to kind of do it at a little bit higher altitude with the wind conditions just right, they potentially could contaminate the entire vegetable operation with one pass. But pretty much for me, the day stops when there's an application nearby. And some of it is because uh, we did have a misapplication incident on our farm, so we've been burned once. We lost a fair amount in that incident. So we're going to be skittish. I think rightfully so. We're going to be just a little nervous. So our CSA shares are split kind of between the Iowa City corridor, Des Moines, and here in Grinnell. And it tends to be um, people who are interested in eating local seasonal produce. We have a lot of people with small children who want to make their own uh, baby food for really young ones or making sure that their kids are eating healthy, healthy produce. We're a 14 acre farm in the middle of corn and soybean country. So a 14 acre farm doesn't seem like much to most people. Uh, but on this farm we grow about five acres of diversified vegetables. We raise turkeys, ducks, chickens, uh, chickens for meat, chickens for egg. Uh, we also have a couple of high tunnel or covered buildings that we grow inside. We are certified organic and we provide our own insurance by having a diverse set of crops. I'm outside every day that it's possible to be outside during the growing season. And if it's good enough to spray, I guarantee you we have people in the field. And so we witness from our farm drift incidents happen up the road, down the road, all the time. Like this happens every year, um, very frequently. And whether it be in someone's yard or someone's field. If there's an overspray incident on this farm, uh, whether it's drift or somebody flies over with nozzles on or whatever, um, one of the things that happens is any crops that are ripe and ready at that time, we have to suspend picking. We cannot, until tests come back, harvest any of that because we have to know it's clean. You need to remember that if I give this produce to somebody and this is fresh produce, if I give the fresh produce to them and say, here, eat this, I have basically told them it's safe. And if they get sick because there's something on the product, who's liable? That would be me. I would be liable for them getting sick. So. I need to take responsibility for the quality of the produce and what might be on that produce. And so I just, I don't think they're really aware that maybe it has the potential to cause economic harm or health harm or, you know, a lot of these chemicals aren't labeled for human consumption. So even if you think it's safe, if it's not labeled for human consumption, I need to destroy that crop if it's, if it gets sprayed on mine, because what we're selling isn't going into an ethanol plant or, a, you know, a cow's rumen, it's being eaten by people.